Hey ladies, how you doing? Can you tell something different about my makeup? <laughs> I was playing in some color. I want to show you this quick, simple spring makeup look. You could do it in minutes. So just keep watching. <laughs> Here we are, eyeshadow only. I think this would be really cool for us to just focus on eyes, not focus on other parts of the face. We could do that at a later time. But just to kind of give you a little snippet, I do have on my Fenty Beauty foundation this is the hydrating one really really been enjoying it, especially now in these months that's getting warmer you know i've been going out doing a little grocery shopping so we made a little makeup <laughs> but yeah let's get into it i want to pull out an oldie but goodie palette i'm going to do another spring makeup look i'm going to play in some color and not a lot but a little bit the reason why i picked this palette is because it only had one color shade well two and I felt like I would, well, I think that's three, four. There's a whole bunch in here. But I, for me, it was the one that was the brightest. It will allow me to play with that particular um, shade. So the palette I'm going to be using today is the Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. Really, really old palette. Really didn't put a dent in it. I did use some of the brown shades, if you can tell right here. Not really, you know, did anything to it. But I'm going to use it and I'm going to play with the pink. So... We're going to go very, very light. We're not going to do too much. We're going to keep it really simple. But let's just get right into it. I'm going to use Mocha. Mocha is with this little heart right here. I love this palette. It's so cute. Just like the little collector's palettes. You know, you just, you know, you don't want to damage them up. You don't want to use them too much. But, you know, you got to use them. I had this one for a while. So. <laughs> And I'm going to go ahead and focus on mocha and I'm just going to put it in the crease with a fluffy brush. So I'm not trying to be precise. I'm not trying to be neat or anything like that. Just I'm going to go to the next eye. I'm just going to repeat the same steps. Now I do have some concealer and foundation. You know, I didn't put anything extra. Just pretty much use what was on the brush. And if you have this palette, let me know down below. Let me know. So now I'm going to go in, I'm going to take Bordeaux, and that is this dark brownie shade here. I just want to lay the base and kind of just deepen in the crease. Not too much. So this brush is a little stiffer. I'm using it on a slant, so if, as you can see, I'm going to turn it around for you. I'm using the brush on a slant. I'm just going to focus in the crease. Okay, so now I'm going to buff it out a little bit. I'm just going to go back into Mocha. Because these shades are a little bit funny. I don't want to use them and then I mess up. But I feel like one eye is shaped more than the next. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of blend out this harsh line right here. And you don't have to do that because if you like the line, then you can keep the line. But I'm going to try to blend it out as much as I can. Okay, I'm going to do the same over here. Not really using any product on the brush. Just blending it out. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to take a So I'm going to take a wide flat brush here and I'm going to go into molasses chip. Really really nice muted type. Not too goldeny, not too shimmery right here it's kind of a soft shimmer we're gonna i'm gonna show you now see it's a nice soft shimmer it's not too harsh it's not too hard it kind of comes off um like a champagne champagne that's that's it. not goldeny more champagne very very light so now that my eyes are semi-done, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to play in some color. What I'm getting ready to do is nothing new or anything like that. It's just me welcoming the color, me welcoming the spring, and me just taking my time to bounce into color. I'm going to go ahead and put this pink in my inner tear duct area. I, was, I can go between this pink here or this lighter pink. I'm going to go with the darker pink because I feel like it'll give me a little bit more color payoff due to um, the tone of my skin. 
But some women tend to use what I put on my lid in their inner tear ducts to kind of give them a nice little shimmer, a little glow in the eye. But I'm going to play it up a little bit and see how it comes out and let's see how it looks, okay? So here you have it. I put the pink in my inner tear duct area. I like it. I just wanted to make sure before I kind of committed to it that I didn't look have that sick look. But it doesn't look sick to me. Let me know your opinion down below and would you try this. I just feel like it looks a little bit more of a pop of color, like a little splash of pink in the eye because you really don't want to wear too much color. It's like an introductory, introductory to color. So I'm going to put some liner on. I'm using my black liner. I'm not going to do a thick line is a kind of a thin one I may not even wing it out too much because again I don't want to look too busy in the eye I'm gonna still put a new lip on but I just want to look kind of you know springy but yet so liner is on what I do with the liner I just pretty much I it's not quite a half liner I just kind of started where the pink was I didn't want to go too far in because I didn't want to go over the pink if you kind of understand where I'm coming from what are you guys using for mascara? I went and got me some new makeup. I can't wait to show you guys my drugstore makeup haul. Got a lot of good things. A lot of new things. New in the drugstore period and then new to me. So that's always good. Lips, I'm going to go in with my espresso pencil. Espresso. For my lips, I'm going to use a MAC lipstick. I haven't used a MAC one in a while. This one is called Love You Back. Nice nude lipstick. Are you guys even still wearing MAC? And if so, like, what are you wearing? What lipstick do you like? You know, what are you doing? Because I'm thinking about doing a MAC haul. I really enjoy MAC lipsticks. I gave so many away and then... I returned some back to the store, like you the recycle program, and got a few. So, I really, really like them. Lip gloss is going to be Milani. I love this stuff. This is a lip plumper. This is in the shade Champagne. I figured it would complement the actual eyeshadow that I have on my lid because it looks kind of like a champagne. Highlight, I'm going to put a little, a little bit more on. I did put some highlight on, but this feel like I need a little bit more. I got to go light with this one. This is the Laura Geller. You got to go very light. Setting spray, I'm going to use Pixie. This is the Glow Mist. Got to shake it up. Okay, ladies, so here's the final look. I just want to kind of come in, play around, do a quick spring makeup, losing a little bit of color, not too much. Just kind of step out the box just a little bit, okay? I didn't want to do too much, too much. But do let me know if you do still have this palette. And if you do, um, let's pull it out and do some more makeup looks. We can do plenty, plenty with this. So I want to say hey to all my new subscribers. Hey to all my loyals. Thanks for hanging out with me. Catch me in my next video. Bye.